Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden Help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, I'm here to show you a great goal line defense that I've been using and it has been very effective. The play is the goal line 542, and the play is the Sam Blitz. You're going to want to sub in all your big defensive tackles at the defensive tackle positions and then a big nose guard in and what you want to do is baseline press uh, pinch your D line down and then move those two D tackles in if they don't uh, when you break the huddle. In practice mode you see I have to manually move them in sometimes they will move themselves in uh, but if not definitely just uh, bump them in one step and then you want to play on that middle linebacker. You want the left uh, of screen in to be someone a little bit quick because if they run power it's going to actually get free uh, and you want him to be able to get into the backfield before the running back breaks outside. Next you want to put your two best block shed and fastest safeties at corner you know, just in case they run the toss. If you really want to stop QB sneak you could actually pinch everyone in like this and that's going to guarantee a stop with the quarterback sneak uh, because you're packing everyone in the box and you have the numbers game because they only have three guys against your five. The disadvantage with that is it opens you up to the power. So if they call the audible power or sting, it's actually not gonna be good because you see in this instance, we set up for QB sneak D and uh, power is gonna be ran and it's gonna be wide open because no one has that edge and everyone gets sealed and they're able to get a big game. So to counter that, we're gonna get our defensive tackle uh, left of screen to come in free untouched by just doing the base setup of baseline press, uh, pinch your D-line down, and then move the first two D-tackles inside. You'll see that we're going to run the power and the left of screen defensive tackle is going to come free untouched and tackle the running back in the backfield. So the base setup is the best to stop everything, but if you know it's QB sneak, you can put the two defensive ends and uh, put them into uh, one line and stop the QB sneak. So you want to make sure your left of screen defensive tackle has a little bit of speed and acceleration just so he can get in that backfield and tackle the running back for a loss because if he's too slow they're going to still be able to break their run outside and not get the tackle because he's going to be trailing the whole time. Next play is the sting. Um, all you want to do is take your middle linebacker and really just play either toss or sting with the base setup and do we have the safety that you subbed in at cornerback we have him coming free off of the edge and then you're just going to get in the uh, middle of the field and try and muddy that up so he bounces it outside but he's going to run directly into that safety for a big hit possibly if he has a lot of hit power and he can even fumble that ball. So so far you see that this stops the uh, quarterback sneak, it stops the power and then it also stops the sting. The next play that is very popular is the halfback toss. So once again same setup baseline, press, pinch your D line and then move those two guys inside if they don't and then you see that what's going to happen is either that safety that you subbed in at the cornerback on the right side is going to shoot and uh, hit the fullback and possibly uh, block shed or even tackle the running back for a loss or we're going to be able to scrape over with our linebacker just like that and make a great tackle for a loss in the backfield as well. So your corner is mainly to force it either back inside or bounce it out, but you see that our user with the middle linebacker is roaming free. So you need to make sure that you're able to scrape over and hit the gap that you think the running back is going to hit. If you want to ensure that the linebacker is going to shoot outside if they're running toss, you could put him in a hard flat and that's going to make him shoot straight out and see we're able to hit him in the backfield for about five yard loss. Uh, he breaks a tackle, but you know, you see that the defense is there. So this is the best goal line defense that I have found this year. It's worked great for me. It stops all the best runs and then you have everyone locked up across the board, man, if they do try to do a play action. Just remember personnel is key in this. So put your biggest guys in a defensive tackle and a nose guard, possibly a quicker defensive tackle at the left of screen, uh, DT, and then sub in fast, big hitting safeties at corners just in case they try and bounce it outside you're able to lay the hit stick on them hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you want the best weekly tips best blitzes in the game and access to all the ebooks become a patron and head on over to the link in the description below